Welcome to Tube Talk, where I'll be interviewing either virtually or in person content creators in the hope to learn more about the people that we subscribe to and we follow on YouTube. So my next virtual guests have been a couple for 45 years. They've been on the road for six years. They love a cold beer on a hot day and they are sold to the earth Australians. Please meet virtually Dave and Vic from Roland Ross Adventures. Hey. Dave and Vic, welcome to Tube Talk. So nice to meet you guys. No, nice to, to meet you nice too. Nice to meet you too. Like I, uh, like I talked about earlier, um, yeah, I'm a bit surprised when you called us or got in contact with us because, like I said, um, we're only small fry compared to the, the big players in the in the in the YouTube stuff. So, um, no, thanks for getting in contact with us. And no, thanks for accepting, thanks for accepting <laughs> the invitation. Um, and and it's 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 been an interesting journey since I sort of pulled the trigger on this idea. Um, I've probably got, I'm going to say, a good uh, half a dozen definite definite uh, uh, dates that are set, another half a dozen that are sort of, yes, we're keen to you know, have a chat, but the dates are pending. And I've probably got half a dozen um, waiting, you know, for some sort of response. But, mate, um, look, it's, like I said, it's just a bit of a hobby, a bit of interest, you know, it gives me yeah. something to do on a Saturday afternoon or a Sunday afternoon while my wife's inside. Or, or gardening. So, what gravitated us to your channel is because you guys are West Aussies, right? Yeah. Well, I, hang on. So, how are you really West Aussies? I mean, Dave, I get a, I get a feeling that you might be uh, a Victorian down deep. <laughs> oh, well, you did. got that right. Yeah, I did. That, we're both, we're both actually Victorians. Okay. Um, now, just a quick overview on how we ended up, what we're doing, what we're doing, I suppose, or where we ended up in West Australia. We we did take off travelling in our mid twenties. With we had two little kids. You know, we had a we had a beat up old Land Cruiser that cost us. I think we bought that for two thousand bucks. We bought a caravan for two thousand dollars, and we saved up two thousand dollars, and we took off, <laughs> and that was wow. it. So we travelled for a couple of years like that, just working out, you know, just young, nothing, nothing mattered. And uh, we ended up in Western Australia. Yeah. And obviously, Western Australia is big on the mining side of things. I've got a job in the mines. And um, 30 years later, we're still there. So, you um, were still there. Yeah, yeah. You so, were. that's how come we ended up over there in the mining game. And um, our kids got older. They got married. They had kids. They bought houses. We, you know, we settled there. And um, that's how come we ended up in Western Australia. But we originally from. Uh, Victoria, yes, you're correct. Okay. You're right. Okay. Yeah. You're so where, so, so, from so where Wodonga. Are you what? Sorry. Originally from Wodonga. You're kidding me. Yeah. Okay, so I've, so my wife is from Albury. Oh, really? Really? Hundred percent. She was just on a she was just on the phone to a sister, um, who is in who lives I think in Wodonga, but um, I will get her attention in a minute because now that yeah. she knows you guys are now that she knows you guys are from Wodonga, she'll definitely come and say hello. Um, so where are you guys, as we sit today, where are you guys sitting right here, uh, right today, right now, where are you guys? Well, right now we're in uh, Lake Ty, Lake Ty Beach, which is just out of Lake's entrance in South East Victoria. Yeah. And of course, um, we're three hours ahead of you guys, so it's well and truly happy hour for us, as you can see. Let me guess, that's a great northern. Uh, yeah, 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 correct again. Is that your, is that, is that, is that your favourite beer? Well, yeah, I've sort of a bit, uh, got yeah. a bit of acquired taste for it, yeah. Oh, okay. Vic, do you enjoy uh, uh, a Great Northern as well? or? I do, but I'm I'm more of a Scotch drinker. Are you? Oh, okay. Well, that's just for, for, for health reasons, right? Oh, of course. Of course. <laughs> but it's a blood pressure. So, okay, so you guys are in, um, um, in, in Victoria as we speak, near Lake Centre. And yeah. how long have you been there for? Well, we're Two just days. Uh, yeah, a couple of days here where we are at the moment, and yep. um, we're actually parked up at the back of a pub. Uh, in the, they've got a bit of a camp here at the back here, so it's uh, well, you can't get any better than that, can you? <laughs> so, um, we've just come across from over in Aubrey, uh, Aubrey Wodonga. We come across the high country through there, so we've been in and out of phone yep. reception with that because um, yep. we, we spent the last three weeks doing that, mm -hmm. I guess. So, yeah. we've got some. Bit, a fair bit of editing and video and to do with all that to get all that sort of we've got about a thousand photos and videos from all that stuff yeah and uh we've now we've now we're on the coast back on the coast again now so uh we'll spend a bit of time just here a few days here then we'll just slowly work our way 
north up the coast. Yeah. Before it started getting too cold down here. Yeah. yeah. And um, you don't like the cold. No. So I've got a few, <laughs> a few, a few things planned for the, the journey, a journey north. Wow. And we've got yeah. some good mates up that way as well that we've uh, met on the road, which is one of the good things about being on the road, meeting yeah. people. Yeah. And uh, so that's all. Sort of, that's what's happening at the minute. So, so are you guys full time nomads now? Like yes, you're both uh, retired? Are you 100% uh, retired? Semi. semi. You know, the government's not paying us yet. Okay. <laughs> so, so, so what do you find a semi retired couple? I mean, how does that work? Good. Oh, like, uh, great. How does it work? Like no, no, no. When you mean semi retired, like um, you stop and work when you sort of need some pocket money, is that semi retired or is that what you mean pretty by semi retired? Okay. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Um, just to go on with our, our background a little bit. Uh, like, so I had 30 years underground mining. When we underground? Were Where? Sorry? Where? Where? Uh, all, all over. We, we, we was, went fly and fly out and we was travelling all over Northern Territory, all over West Australia yeah. uh, for different jobs. So fly and fly out, FIFO. Yeah. Um, had enough of that. Um, had a few good mates that um, passed away, but yeah. weren't yeah. not from old age and stuff like that. So yeah. and at our age, you start thinking about things. So uh, we decided, no, we're gonna we're not going to hang around. We want to get back on the road again, like we did in our younger days, and yeah. um, turn into turn into gypsies again. <laughs> so we, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I love we, it. Uh, yeah. So we had a, had a bit of a plan. We took a few years to set it up, and obviously get get a like we're in a caravan, um, get a, a good vehicle to tow it around with, and uh, get and get on the road again. So we set ourselves up, like I said, and um, that was almost six years ago. Yeah, you guys so on like been on the road. Years. Yeah, been on be the road for be six years in uh, July, the beginning of July. So not far off it. So 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 six years. How many of those six years have been pretty much full time? Because last year you guys were back in Perth and you're camped up somewhere. But yes, if I've got that right. Yes, yep. yes. No, we um well, we, got, really we got really back cool. to back to um, Perth uh, just for, just before Christmas last year right, from yeah. North Queensland. So that's a, that's a long haul that one. And um, then we decided we're going to sell our house. So we oh. sold the house. So we're, yeah, so we're proper homeless now. So you guys <laughs> are serious nomads. Like well, we are now. And, and, and that house that was right was in Rockingham, is that right? Uh, Mandra. 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 Mandra, okay. It's all yeah. the same now. It's pretty much joined. It is. Yeah, exactly. So right, we okay, sold, so you sold your house in Mandra. Yep. Yeah, and we bought a new, an, an updated vehicle. Yeah, I saw so, that last week. Yeah, because the old one was, we just pretty much wore the old one out. We did. Yep. And that took a bit of, about six months to set that back up again. Yeah. So um, while we were back there, we picked up a little bit of work. Or I did yeah. um, just some local work just to you know, put it back into the bank account sort of thing. Yeah. And um, once we were all ready to go again, then we're then back on the road again. So uh, just go back to the original question. Oh, God, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. So, so just to go back to the original question we just said about the uh, part-time or semi-retired, we, we do pick up work while we're traveling around. Um, if it suits us, we don't, we, you know, we can be a little bit fussy, I guess. So because we're not at retirement age or um, where the, like, where the government pays. Oh, right, um, yeah. We've got a bit of a slush fund that we run off. So a bit of work here and there spreads that out a bit further. Yeah, so okay. we're not doing yeah. that as much. So we, we've done a lot of different stuff. Eh? We've done... Yeah. Um, for example, we worked in pubs. I uh, do a fair bit of truck driving here and there with, with, with harvest work. That's a good one to pick up for um, part-time work. Um, but we've done a bit of caretaking. Yeah. Um, there's oh, some yeah. campgrounds. Wow. Yeah. Wow. wow. So, so, bit of, but you've, just but you've, stuff. you've only been driving your YouTube channel, and again, if I, I hope I've got this right. And clearly, you're correct. I've got it wrong. Um, by looking at your videos that you've uploaded, it's only in the last three years. Is that right? Yeah, about that, yep. Okay, so six years on the road, three years on the YouTube journey. And we'll get to your YouTube journey in a sec. Um, yep. So, so can you can you recall, so six years ago, um, can you recall the day either Vic, you rolled over and poked Dave in the back or Vicky Verka and said, that's it. Um, for whatever reason, something has happened. We are doing this and we're going to do it next January. Can you recall when, you, when that actually happened or was it a slow burn? Um, it was always on the card. We always said after travelling um, when the two daughters got married and living their own lives that yeah. 
Um, we were going to take off back around Australia again. Yeah. Um, that was our always has been our dream. Um, and because we loved it when we were in our young, you know, in our twenties. So, yeah. um, yeah, so we brought a caravan and started getting everything into place. And um, so it wasn't sort of really anything to go, hey, no, we're leaving next week, you no, know, uh -huh, or next sure. month. It was... Um, it took a few years to set it up. Yeah, it took a couple of years and um, and everything. And, yeah, and we have, look, never, we have not looked back. I think the hardest thing with people when they want to do something like this you know, they have a bit of a plan. So yeah, we want to do we want to do it. it. Is actually like you said, setting a date and say no, that's it. And so let that's when we're going. We don't. If, if, and you're sort of having your back in your mind. Uh, have we got enough money? Um, are we are we gonna? Is this gonna work? Are we gonna fail? We're we gonna get halfway around, run out of money, and then shit. What do we do now? So um. But and I think what's the worst that can happen? You just get a job somewhere. Hundred <laughs> percent. I mean, yeah. and that's what. And, and that's how and it works. That our economy is. I mean, that's not hard. So Vic, while Dave's underground working, you know, in the in in Firefly, what were you doing? I was working on the mine site as well. The, same mine site. Yep. Yeah. So you got so, so now this is ironic, right? So because my wife and I, we work together, so we work together side by side, five days a week, right? So you guys worked on the same mine site. Did did, did you work in the same hole in the ground or or on the same? How did that work? No. Okay. No. So, no, I, I was I was I was up top. Okay, <laughs> so you're the, yeah, you're in the safe spot. Hey, yes. So, so might be a personal question. So, you have single man's quarters. Do they have married couples quarters? I mean, on on yeah, on, um, a couple of the mine sites that we um that we lived at um yeah we we had a really big room and yeah. um and everything our own ensuite and all looks um, good. They 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 really looked after us. Wow. Um Must be a good said, like David David got twenty one years, nearly twenty two years, years with, the wow. um, with the same company and I, I done nine years. So wow. um yeah, they really looked after us. Wow, interesting. Well, so Vicky, Vicky was she was working in the store and I was underground. So we weren't and I was doing shift work with Vicky just day shift. So we weren't sort of under each other's feet all the time in a little little room. No. So, yeah. so I mean, one's at work, one's asleep, and <laughs> oh, okay. So, so, kind of, so they kind of right. work. So you've got, look, you've got to have yeah. a really special relationship for that to work. And I'm pretty fortunate, or we're pretty fortunate. I'll just see if I can get her um attention. <laughs> no, no, come. It's okay. It's like okay. Glenn's going. Look at my hair. No, you, these guys are from Orbi Wodonga. <laughs> and I just. Yeah. Uh, Hello. Hey, you. I know. Hello. So I thought you might want to say hello. How are you going? Good, Where good. Are how are you? you? Good. You're both from Orbe Wodonga. Originally, yes. Uh, yeah. Vicky's born in Um, I was born, I was Melbourne for me, and then yep. at a very young age moved to uh, Orbe Wodonga. Oh, so cool. Spent, spent a fair bit of time there in yeah. our younger days. That's where we met, of course. And all our fa all our family's still there. I knew that because I watched um, Christmas like, like the the last couple of weeks. So I I wasn't sure if you actually come from there or or family had all moved there. Oh, yep. awesome! It just got Aubrey just got um, rated number one best country town to go and visit in Australia. Oh really? Oh, did I it? Didn't know that. There you go. Wow! Aubrey. 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 Yeah. How about that? Yeah. Yeah, oh, we love go. watching you guys. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Really enjoy it. Oh, very that's much. good. Yeah. Okay. No, I'll let you get all people don't go as beautiful. We, we've always said we miss the mountains. Especially from Western Australia. Yeah, like, where it's, it's just dead flat. Oh, we've got little hills over like there. They've got little, <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah. I couldn't wait to leave, but now. <laughs> now, <laughs> now I love going back because I think I'm older. I appreciate, as you said, the mountains and. Um, you do. Bright now, beauty. I actually got online the other day and looked at the real estate. Have you guys had a look at how much a house is in Bright now? Yes. We were up there um well, probably a month or so ago. Yeah. In, in Bright, just a bit of a bit of a drive. And uh yeah, the real estate was just crazy. There wasn't I, much under like million dollar houses up we'd there. We'd be billionaires now if I had enough bloody brains back then. Yeah. My you know, that little crystal ball. Oh my god. You know, yeah. I remember uh, we were going to move yeah. to Bright. We're like, oh, I'm not paying that. That's 
<laughs> no, no. Uh, no it, it, is, it is beautiful. It's, um, yeah, lovely. I miss the autumn. Oh, God, I do. Yeah. You're saying that, yeah. The autumn's is beautiful. Into that yeah. now, we're going we're gonna to start heading north. So where are you now? Uh, well, not far out of Lake's entrance. Bantel. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah that's not, not yeah. in that South Lake Victoria. So yeah. it's quite a warm day here today, actually. But um, Yeah, we've got the air conditioner on. Yeah, and, the, and the bonus by living, saying at the back of the pub here, you get two free nights with power and water hook up for free. And then it is uh, only $25 a night after that. Jeez, cheap. that's cheap. <laughs> it is. It is. Right and it's worth <laughs> That's a lovely thing. Yeah. It was lovely to meet you both. Um, I'm going to go back and save my beans and I'm um, looking forward to your show this Sunday. Is it on yet? Uh, oh, we're got, you... we're, we've got one to put out. So hopefully tomorrow we'll uh, we'll get that finished. That'll be good. That'll it's make our Sunday night. It's, yeah. it's sort of hard. It's, it's, work it yeah. it's half done. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Sounds well, like that. Yeah, the pressure's right on yeah, it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> awesome. See you guys. Bye. 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 It's lovely to meet you. Um, so, so how long have you guys been together as a couple? Oh, I think um, we were teen, we were teen ours, teenage sweethearts. It'd so. be August, it'd be coming up 45 years. Wow. And how did you guys meet in Aubrey Wodonga? Dave, were you a footballer? Yeah, yeah. Probably, probably, probably my sister, probably. Probably David's sister. Yeah. yeah. I went all through high school with her, so um, oh, okay. she introduced so, us. Oh, okay, right. Um, so she knew she was doing a good thing, so. <laughs> <laughs> but I think you're batting above the average, you're saying. Yeah, well. <laughs> I know I do. I'm um, sure Mickey is. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and random question on the fly. So, so, um, so Dave, I'm going to direct this to you. Who's the boss yep. out of the two? Uh, well, I'll say oh, I am, but probably she is. Yeah. <laughs> Only because I let her. You know what I'm saying, mate? Happy wife, happy life, eh? Hey? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's pretty much a two-way street, yeah, really. It is. Yeah. It's, no one sort of. Well, Biggie does. She's got the she, the things that she works around or does, and I'm the, the, do my thing, and yeah. then it's just a bit of a pick up. Not, yeah, there's a bit of a compromise there. Some, yeah. Sometimes, but nine times out of ten, she'll win it. <laughs> like I said, mate. <laughs> happy wife, happy life. Happy wife, happy life. Exactly. That's a good saying, isn't it? Hey, um. So, so well. So just touching on YouTube. So, so who? Yep. So three years ago, who was the one that said, "Come on, let's get on this YouTube journey. Let's put our stuff on, on social media." Was that you, Dave, or you, Vic? Yeah, well, it was mostly well, you, of, really. Well, we, when we first started traveling, we we had a bit of a Facebook thing going, just mainly just for the, the family and some friends to see where yep. we where we are and that sort of yep. stuff. And that's we put a little few little bits and pieces together with that. And then uh, actually, the Simon Law, I think. Tim, he, he yeah. said, because he's, he's into the YouTube thing, and um, he said, oh, you should put a couple of these things on YouTube, get a bit more going. So we thought, oh, yeah, so we put it, we had a couple of little bits and pieces we first put up and sort of, then you sort of started getting into it a little bit. So we're just sort of working off what I can do on the computer program. Well, I'm not real computer savvy, by any means, I'll give you the tip. Um, what I could do, what we could do with, with that in the phone. And then we thought, oh, this is getting a bit more involved. We need to have some sort of program to, to do this. So we, we got a program. Monica? Oh. Um, so my question was what? We'll be back. What, okay, we're back. So what platform, what platform do you guys use? Okay. Um, yeah, Anna Monica is the oh. program we use on the computer. Just We got it's a, just a Microsoft computer. Um, it's a pretty fairly basic one. It's only um, it's really simple to use. Well, it's got to be simple if I can use it. So, uh, yeah, and I find that works quite well. Um, yeah. There's nothing fancy about it. Um, uh, we're not about the fancy highlights and all that sort of stuff. As yeah. long as it's sort of showing what we want people to see and what who we are, um, yeah. and that's that's all we wanted. Just you know, and it's not, it's it, more or less yeah. like a, a hobby. While yeah, we're on the road. That's all it is, hey. Hundred percent, hundred percent. So that's how I sort of have fallen into it. I suppose yep. is, is no different. It was a hobby. Um, it was something I stumbled. It's still a bloody hobby. It's, there's no. I've got no intentions of becoming a YouTube sensation. A YouTube sensation. Um, 
but I think in our later in our later yeah. years, it's really important that we stimulate our brains. Um, so that's why I'm sort of really Definitely. keen to learn more. Yeah, keen to learn more. Um, so just just touching on you two guys as a couple and as individuals again. So it's you've been married for, or you've been together for forty five years. Surely there's a there's an idiosyncrasy that gives you the shit stick. And surely there's an idiosyncrasy that gives you the shit stay. So I know that's putting you on the spot. I, putting on the spot. So so um, something that gives you the shits, but a really, but also to compliment that, what's an endearing feature of each other? It's, 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 that's hard because I've yeah. like, been together so long. You don't even take it in. You just take each other for granted sometimes, maybe. Oh, yeah, I think. You just, you just part of each other. You what? It's, 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 I don't know. It's... I don't know. Yeah, we're just we're just asked. You just ask. You just so so an endearing feature for probably both of you is, is it just you guys. And I think it's a word that and sure it won't be long before somebody shoots me down, but I use this word authentic. Um and that's you know what gravitates us to people like you guys is that you're just soul to the earth, you're authentic and like you're just genuine people. And I think that really shows not only just today, but also when you're watching, you know, any of your, of your shows, you know. So, um, all right. So, um, you guys. So, so David, I noticed you have a dinghy on the top of your boat, but I don't see it in the water a lot. Um, so, is that because you've got a? <laughs> so, is this because it's too hard to take off because it's bolted on, or you have a preference to being inland? What, what's your preference, boat. inland or coastal, when you're travelling? Oh. oh. What's that? I've missed the question. Inland or coastal? Oh, um, really love the coast. Got to say, I can't really love the coast. Um, yeah. But some of the trips we've been on through the centre have been pretty amazing. Um, Definitely. But we've done, we, especially back in the earlier days, we've done it quite a bit through Central Australia, and that which aren't yeah. on so much on YouTube because it was before we started doing all this. Yeah, it'd be great. Would have been great to put some of them up because they were some pretty, we made some pretty remote stuff. You know, we went out to Cameron's Corner, Haddon's Corner, um, those sort of places, Birdsville. Uh, so it sounds like you're warm oh. to more inland and coastal. No, 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 no not really. No. It's just a, going from one place to another, you got to, we might go through the centre rather than go around the outside. So <laughs> you might cut across cool. some, you know. Yeah. No, that's fair, cool. <laughs> A lot of yeah. times, I think if anything, we do more like zigzag. Not so much okay. a snapping um, up a lap. Not so much a lap. We sort of yeah. Do a it's section. Like doing a bloody yeah. lap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Cool. No, no, no. But no, the the, the tinny does go off. Yeah, and, quite a bit and in, in the water. Um, yeah, as I said, it's only really been the last few years, really, since we've had a GoPro and a drone. We yeah, never okay. had any of that before. We take photos, you know, from our phone or the camera. Um, and just, yeah, just Facebook. Yeah, really it was nice. just really Facebook. We we thought, nah, we don't need any of that stuff, you know. Yeah, um, yeah. Then, you know, seeing a few other f followers and, oh, you know, their drone YouTube, shots yeah. and everything else, it was just like, oh, we've got to go and buy one now. So, But, again, that's that's a hobby, right? That's I mean, again, I bought a drone. Yeah. I I've really enjoyed, and I'm still like I'm an amateur hour, like I'm like Gumbyville number eight, um, learning how to use a drone. Um, and you know, there actually is a thing called um, drone anxiety. It's actually a thing. I still get anxiety mm -hmm. whenever I get out of the taxi because I've already dropped one in the water. But besides that, I actually break out and in, 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 into a sweat. When, you're the same. What in the water? We get yeah. the drone anxiety. No, no, I put one in the drink. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's on, that was on one of our videos. I think I've got a, I've got a great shot hitting the water. <laughs> yeah, it just missed me by about that much. <laughs> so, yeah, I got so, a great shot coming in, but yeah. On the, so on the road six years, right? On the road six years, um, and 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 even going back in your younger years when you're on the road, is there a place you've stumbled across where if money wasn't an ob, like an ob, like if if you had as much money as you needed, where would you live? Well, so you we're sort of in that, in that situation at the moment, really, because we've sold our house now, we've got the option to live anywhere later on. Like, we, eventually we have to buy something to 
place ourselves or settle down somewhere. These are so, a place you've gone through zigzagging in either the last six years or when you guys are younger that you're thinking to yourself, that's where we're going to put our roots then. Have you, so, Vicky, I'm looking at your face. So, clearly, I'm, I'm thinking you have. You do. You know. Where is it? Come on. You've got a couple of favourites, Bob. Yeah, we, we love Mission Beach in Queensland. Right, northern Queensland. Nice. Yeah, that's about um, as far away. Thing with that is, yeah, that's probably about as far away from our kids as we could possibly get. Uh, not on purpose, but, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah. we, we, we've always liked North Queensland, though. We like, we we like tropical weather. We don't, like, we don't do cold weather very well. Yeah. So um, the North Queensland, the top end of Australia is where we do like to be. We spent a lot of our time over the last six years across the top end of Australia. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's up there on one. Of, that's up there for one of the lists. It's or well, we, you know, who knows? We might end up back back down the man and so many of the kids as we get older. We don't know. We haven't we haven't made that decision yet. Wow. Well, so, sure. All right. So Northern Queensland, uh, Mission Beach. I've never been to Mission Beach. I've I've seen uh, pictures of Mission Beach. I'd love to go there. Is that is that north or south of Cairns? Please excuse my ignorance. It's south of Cairns, about an hour and a half south of Cairns. Okay, yeah. Yeah, on, right on the, obviously, Mission Beach on the coast. It's right near um, Dunk Island, it's just off the coast there. Yeah, okay. Um, no, it's just a nice area. Good size, yeah. good size little town. It's just, but it suit us. Cool. Um, we, don't, right. we don't do big big cities very good. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can kind of, um, I look forward to having that same, that, that feeling. So we're two and a half years out from on the dwelling. So, um, so yep. a couple of random questions. So, who's the cook? Who's the cook on the road? Who's who's the who's the main cook out of you two? I cook the meat. Vicky does everything else. <laughs> okay. And your signature meat dish? Uh, steak, eggs, and chips is my signature dish. <laughs> <laughs> the, the blokes, the blokes dinner. <laughs> oh, you're funny. God, That's you're funny. I'll have that every night. I'll have that every night in a week. Obviously, uh, wash down with a beer. <laughs> Mate, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know whether or not you guys have had a chance to watch uh, the interview I had with Andy up in Darwin. Um, I asked him what his favourite meal was, and he said, uh, "It's oats, peanut butter, sultanas, and water." And I thought he was taking the piss. Oh, right? oh, it's absolutely fair. In- no, yeah, it's absolutely fair income. Um, so, all right. Um, so, imagine this. So, you, you you're having a barbecue. Right, and you could invite anybody from around the world to come and join you guys at a barbecue. Is there an interesting person you oh, guys oh. would love to invite you to your place for a barbecue? And who well, would I know who you're going to say. I know who you are. <laughs> come on, come on, Vic. Oh, I'll invite Chris Hemsworth. Chris Hemsworth. Now, I'm looking at my wife. She's got, I've got a man crush on that guy. He is just a weapon of a guy and seems like a really nice Aussie guy. So okay, tip. Chris, I'd like to come to that barbecue. Dave, what about you? Uh I don't know. Um I really don't know who I'd want to invite. I don't know. I can try you put me on a spot here a bit now. Well, well maybe you, you can cover yourself in glory stages. Anybody. Uh, you follow AFL? Anybody. Politics. Oh yeah, Politics. yeah we both have a Carlton supporters. That's it. Uh, oh, Carlton. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, like that. well, that's how it is. <laughs> um, All right, mate, it's, it's okay. Maybe we, can park, maybe, maybe we can park that I up. Know, I, I really don't know who I'd invite. <laughs> but Chris Hemsworth would definitely be there. Oh, well, I suppose if Angelina Jolie was walking past or something, you'll probably call her in for a, oh, a barbie. Call her in for a beer. She might be all right. <laughs> call her in for a snag and a slap of bread. Yeah, get your own get your own beer out of the fridge, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'll check, check, I'll check Angelina a beer. <laughs> so, so what about content creators? So so, so just name three content creators. So, um, uh, do you have three favourite content creators or YouTubers, as we call it? You uh, follow? Just we three. sort of don't follow too much. Well, I sort of just flick through, and I, I'd like, I do like to do that. You know, obviously, you've got the big players and that, but you, you sort of have a bit of flick yeah, through grade. them. And, um, yeah. yeah, the A grades, whatever you call them. Um, I, I, like, I do like to have a look how they do things and see what sort of shots they get. Some of the campgrounds, which, I, you know, which is great because we're traveling, they do find some pretty good campgrounds. So you, you, know, you peg those. Um, so, you know, we want to, to, to have to go look at those as we're traveling around. 
Um, there's, yeah, one, like, there's one guy I like. He's, he's from Mackay, uh, Townsville. Way. He's up on. Uh, skid pig. Have you ever heard of him? No. What's oh, it called? Skid, skid, skid pig. Skid pig. Skid pig. One more time. Skid, skid pig. Okay, I'll find it. Okay, that's number one. I'll yeah. find that one. Yeah. He, he's, he's pretty cool. He's just a bloke who goes out fishing and grabbing, and he's just... He's just he a, is. He's funny. He's, he's quite funny, and he's just a bloke. bloke. I, don't know, I just like him. Number one. So, okay, give me give me another one. Oh, God. Um, give me another one. I like watching... I like watching Carsten and Maxine. Yeah, they're amazing. We yeah, we follow Carsten and Maxine. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah no, I really like them because they're uh, just you know down to earth. You know, yeah. none of this fancy makeup and no, everything else. Presents, yeah. She's like, just gorgeous. Yeah, you they're know? trying to promote these things. They just show them yeah. what they do. Yeah. And um, I do. Just, I, they're, they're good. Yeah. yeah. Give me one more. Give me one more. Oh, oh God. Who um, would it be? Oh, and, uh, I, don't, I don't mind the author adventure guys, but oh, that's that's more like that's not, not they're not really a YouTube creator though. They've just got their own shows, but they've got YouTube videos. Yeah, I think oh, it's called the Wild Reaches, Wild Reaches, Wild Reaches. All right, we got there. We got there. We got there. Yeah. Yeah. It did. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Hey. I, I do like a bit of his stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, um, so good to meet you guys virtually. Um. Thank you so much. And if you can think of anybody, yeah. if, you, if you can think of anybody that you think I should reach out to, please let me know. Um, like oh, no said, worries. I've got a bit of a, I've, I've got a bit of a thick skin. So, you know, if they don't respond <laughs> or they tell me to bugger off, it's okay. Like I said, it's just a, it's a hobby. It's an interest. I, we feel like we got That's to know good. you. Well. We, we feel like we've got to know you guys watching you guys on a Sunday afternoon. <laughs> um, but to do something like this, it just, it just gets a whole different cut through. So, Thank you yeah. so much for your time this afternoon. Hey, no, yeah. thank you so much. And, um, yeah, it's just, well, this, this is who we are. We don't sort of vlog it too much. We just like to do it and hope someone gets a bit of enjoyment out of it. And um, that's us. I'm very <laughs> much. Look, I'm, I'll be looking forward to doing the editing on this um, during the week. Not that it will take much editing to fix. Um, there's a bit there of the. Uh, <laughs> there's a bit there where we had a bit of a dodgy link, but um, um, yeah. yeah, In a couple of weeks, it'll be up, and I'll send you a copy. Oh, no, thank you. All right, Paul. Right. Right. Look out for yourself and uh, nice to meet nice you. you and the wife. Okay, Cheers, right, guys. Bye for now. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. So I hope you enjoyed getting to know Dave and Vic. As I mentioned, Soul of the Earth Aussies, great people. Their journey working in the mining industry, their journey working on the road for the last six years. Um, and um, if there's any content creators you'd like me to reach out to, please let me know. Bye for now. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell. We're rooting for now.